Welcome to this bedtime story from Abide, a Christian meditation written from the scriptures to help you relax and fall asleep. As we prepare to read about pleasant sleep, please make yourself comfortable. Settle your head onto the pillow, pull the warm blankets around you, and take a few deep breaths in and out. Feel the tension being released from every muscle in your body as you inhale and exhale. Allow your breathing to fall into a soft, steady rhythm. Take a moment to pray and invite the Holy Spirit to fill the room. He is with you. He comforts you. He protects you as you fall asleep. There's no need to worry. There's no need to be concerned. God's presence is with you tonight. Rest in his presence for several moments. The Lord longs to give you pleasant sleep tonight. Sleep without worry, fear, or anxiety. Inhale and exhale. Let your mind rest on the pleasantness of sleep for a moment. Now, let all other thoughts fade away as we read from the scriptures how Jeremiah the prophet experienced pleasant sleep. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 26, he says, At this I awoke and looked around. My sleep had been pleasant to me. His sleep had been pleasant to him. Think about what makes sleep pleasant to you. Perhaps it's the feeling of renewal and refreshment that sleep provides. It prepares you to face a new day. Or maybe it's the feeling of accomplishment after a hard day's work as you rest your head on the pillow and allow yourself to relax knowing you did your very best. Whatever pleasant sleep means to you, filter out all other thoughts as you focus only on that pleasant feeling of sleep tonight in God's presence. As we meditate on the good and pleasing things of God, let me begin with a word of prayer. Gracious God, how good and pleasant it is to be in your presence. There is no other place I'd rather be. Wrap me in your loving arms tonight and surround me with peace. I invite you to be with me as I fall asleep and rest fully in your loving care. Thank you, Lord, for sleep that is sweet. Thank you for renewal to face a new day. Help me experience pleasant sleep tonight. In the name of your Son, Jesus, I pray. How pleasant it is to dwell in unity with God. There is nothing like the sweet harmony of peace we have in knowing the Lord. Let the beautiful harmony of God's peace wash over you tonight. Like a soothing song playing in the background. Breathe softly, in and out, and listen for the still, small notes of God's voice singing pleasant words over you. Just as Jeremiah the prophet said, 
my sleep was pleasant to me. Allow his statement to become yours. My sleep is pleasant to me. Rest on that statement for several moments. Now, take a deep breath in and let it out. Release anything that is on your mind. Let go of everything that is on your heart. Focus only on the presence of the Lord and let sleep come to you tonight. Peaceful and pleasant. It's always wonderful to wake up renewed and refreshed, ready to face the day. Just knowing we slept soundly through the night gives us a sense of deep contentment. Settle your thoughts on how it feels to be refreshed after a good night's sleep. Now, picture with me for a moment a vibrant waterfall pouring over moss-covered rocks cascading down into a pool of water, refreshing and clean. The sound of rushing water drowns out all other sounds. It is symbolic of the washing of the word over you. Inhale the steady stream of God's goodness. Exhale the relief you feel from the washing of his word over you. How good and pleasant it is to be in the presence of God. His mercies surround us like a blanket. They are new every morning. Great is His faithfulness to us. Now, rest in the securities of His mercies for several moments. Now, Please, allow me to pray over you again. Heavenly Father, I ask that you cover your beloved child in the presence of your peace. Envelop them in your tender mercies that they might know how good and pleasant are your thoughts towards them. You love them. You care about them. Please help them to rest in these things tonight. Settle their minds on you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Feel the warmth of the covers around you, enveloping you in softness, comfort, and pleasant sleep. Relax every muscle in your body, breathing deeply, in and out. Let the lull of pleasant sleep usher you into a night of peaceful rest. In the distance, the sound of the waterfall is becoming more and more faint. You imagine yourself walking along a peaceful brook, gazing into the clear water, flowing slowly and steadily. The grass is soft beneath your feet as you meander along the edge of the stream. How pleasant it is to be in the fresh air, walking along without a care. Remain here in this peaceful place for a moment. 
In the book of Psalms, chapter 16, verses 5 and 6, we read, O Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Life is good. Life is sweet. Life is pleasant in the Lord. Stay in His presence. Rest in His provision. Inhale the goodness of your inheritance, found only in Christ Jesus. In Him, your future is secure. You know that you will be with Him for all eternity because you have placed your trust in Him. How good and pleasant it is to be in fellowship with the Savior. Let the knowledge of the precious inheritance that you have in Him cover you with peace. Breathe in and out. Sink deeper into the pillow. Pull the covers snugly around you. Feel at peace tonight. You are safe and secure in the Lord. Experience those things which make your surroundings pleasant. The warmth of the blanket, the comfort of your pillow, the peace of God covering you. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises to his name, for it is pleasant. Let your spirit worship the Holy Spirit, for it is good. Let your breath praise the Lord in spirit and in truth as I pray over you. Lord God, please surround your beloved one with the warmth of your presence tonight. Help them to know that all good and pleasant things come from your hand. Fill them with a heart of praise, giving thanks to you. Remind them that the lines of blessing have fallen to them in pleasant places. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, Remember Jeremiah's words again. He said, I awoke and looked, and my sleep was pleasant to me. What a relief it must have been for Jeremiah to experience peaceful rest. How he must have welcomed it. In the midst of all that was going on around him, he was able to sleep in the assurance that the Lord was with him. For he knew that God loved him with an everlasting love and was continually faithful to him. God loves you with an everlasting love. He is faithful to you. Rest in his faithfulness for several moments now. No matter what is going on in your life, you can trust in the faithfulness of God to see you through. 
He is with you. He cares for you. He loves you. Breathe in the good and pleasant things of the Lord. Exhale the worries and concerns of the world. Feel the security of the Holy Spirit covering you tonight. His presence fills you with love, peace, patience, and goodness. How pleasant it is to abide in the Spirit. Rest in the fruits of His presence. Like the peaceful brook that flows slow and steady, so is the Holy Spirit within you. When you feel weak, He is very strong. When you misstep, he holds you with his righteous right hand. When clouds roll in, he leads you into sunlit pastures. Imagine the pleasant places of a sunlit pasture. In the distance, you hear the call of the shepherd. His flock follows after his voice. They know him. They trust him. They are assured that he has their best in mind. They are heeding the call of the good and faithful shepherd. You hear his voice. You follow him. You trust him. You answer the call of the good and faithful shepherd. Continue to listen for his still, small voice. How pleasant it is to hear the voice of our Savior. His words are like sweet honey to our lips. His truth replaces all falsehood and lies. We can fully trust Him. Breathe in and out. Relax. Allow the words of the Lord to cover you with truth and peace tonight. I awoke and looked, and my sleep was pleasant to me. My sleep was pleasant. Free of worry. Free of all other thoughts. Free of fear and anxiety. My sleep was pleasant to me. Thank you, Lord, for pleasant sleep. Thank you for taking all of our worries and concerns and replacing them with your peace. No matter what is going on in our life, your peace surpasses all understanding. We choose to rest in that peace now. For in you, we find true rest. In your presence, we are comforted. By your spirit, we are safe and secure. Thank you, Lord, for your many blessings. Thank you for covering this child of yours tonight. 
thank you for quiet rest and pleasant sleep. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, let's unwrap the gift of sleep tonight. Imagine a beautifully wrapped package handed to you by your loving Creator. He encourages you to untie the ribbon and just let it fall away. He guides you to remove the wrapping and set it aside. He waits patiently as you open the box to discover a beautiful gift, the gift of sleep. Spend a few quiet moments embracing this gift with a heart of thankfulness to the one who loves you and cares about you. Please let me pray over you tonight. Thank you. Good Father, for the gift of sleep. Thank you for knowing just what your beloved child needs at the end of a long day. Help them release every worry and concern to you tonight. Please cover them with your peace and protection so they can fully relax and find true rest in your presence I pray this in the precious name of your son Jesus amen sleep is the cessation of labor it is the time of day that we let go of every unfinished task we surrender it to the hands of the Father he will take care of it he will guard what we have committed to him take a moment to commit everything to God whatever remains undone it's okay let it go rest peacefully in the Savior tonight don't worry about a thing he's got this he's got you often when sleep eludes us it's because we're holding on to the cares of this life we struggle to let go of them because we struggle to trust God we forget that God is the head of our households he is sovereign over us as the psalmist says in Psalm 127 unless the Lord builds the house those who build it labor in vain unless the Lord watches over the city the watchman stays awake in vain dear one the Lord is watching over you tonight there is no need to stay awake with your worries or concerns for the Lord does not slumber nor sleep He will keep watch over you rest in that comforting thought for several moments (laughs) 
the psalmist goes on to say that it is useless for you to work so hard from early morning until late at night anxiously working for food to eat for God gives rest to his loved ones God gives rest to his loved ones you are loved by God he has given you the gift of sleep it overtakes you from head to toe you feel your whole body relax you close your eyes and take a deep breath in and slowly let it out what beautiful gifts our father gives to those he loves assurance peace relaxation security and sleep embrace his gift of sleep tonight as I pray let it become the prayer of your heart Heavenly Father thank you for your gift of sleep and what a precious gift it is I am so thankful for your presence tonight your love comforts me your gift of sleep restores me thank you Lord I believe you are sovereign over all things over my life my work and my rest I release all of my anxieties to you thank you so much for gifting me with peace and rest tonight in Jesus name amen now sink your head deeper into the pillow and pull the covers around you allow your breathing to fall into a steady rhythm in and out in and out feel the gift of sleep envelop you like a soft cocoon gently it wraps around you securing you in the loving arms of the father like the cocoon of a butterfly sleep begins to encase you in soft silky warmth the strands of God's peace enclose you in the gentlest way possible for he is a gentle father kind and good from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet you feel safe guarded and secure rest in the security of God's love for several moments sleep is a gift for our bodies for it allows processing restoring and strengthening to take place as we drift through sleep cycles our minds are able to process the day's events we are able to organize information file it away and remember what is most important 
each cell in our body benefits from sleep it rejuvenates us repairs our tissues and restores us from a long day of hard work oh what a beautiful gift from our Heavenly Father he knows just what our bodies need he created us he created sleep rest in that assurance for a few moments not only do our physical bodies need sleep our spirits need God's true rest in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 we read about God's promise of rest which comes through faith in Jesus Christ for we who have believed do enter that rest we who believe we who trust we who put our faith in the Savior of our souls we enter God's promise of rest settle your heart on that promise for a few moments now please allow me to pray over you again Lord thank you for restoring your beloved one tonight every night as they sleep thank you for rejuvenating them you know just what they need you are good you are sovereign you are holy please allow true rest to come to your child tonight as they trust in you settle their minds repair their bodies and restore their hearts unto you thank you Lord in Jesus name amen breathe softly in and out inhale the sweet presence of the Lord he is with you exhale the remnants of a long day release it all to him hear the words of the psalmist again from Psalm 127 a psalm of Solomon it is useless for you to work so hard from early morning until late at night anxiously working for food to eat for God gives rest to his loved ones now be assured that rising early at the start of a new day ready to work with willing hands is a good thing however starting the day with an anxious heart isn't beneficial at all there is no need to be anxious there is no need to fret God is with you instead of rising early with burdens on your heart consider starting your morning with a quiet meditation let God's Word be the first words you hear each day for his mercies are new every morning let his mercies flow over you now for several moments then as you move through your day no matter what comes you can recall the sweet words of wisdom 
you heard that morning in the quiet hour before anyone else was awake you heard from the God of all creation you can carry his word with you as a guide a comfort in a peaceful meditation at the end of the day resist the temptation to keep working and toiling into the night listen to the wise words of Solomon who said the Lord gives sleep to his beloved the Lord gives sleep to his beloved (laughs) you are his beloved each evening carve out some time to be still before the Lord make room in your schedule to thank him for guiding you through the day invite his presence into your household ask him to cover you as you sleep then as you lay your head down for the night and pull the warm covers around you begin to unwrap God's gift of sleep untie the ribbon of divine rest open the box and embrace the gift of true rest in the Lord his gift of sleep to you feel his peace in the room feel his presence surrounding you hear his words of comfort flow through you heart mind and soul inhale and exhale continue to breathe softly in and out as I say a prayer over you Heavenly Father in the name of your son Jesus I pray over this beloved one tonight I ask that you help them surrender their lives to you and receive the gift of true rest I pray that they find comfort and peace in your presence please help them let go of anything that is on their mind or heart tonight thank you for loving them thank you for watching over them and thank you for the gift of sleep amen as you prepare for sleep tonight relax into your bed let the worries of your day drift away with each slow deep breath that you take breathe in peace and comfort breathe out stress worry and distractions let your head sink into your pillow pull your covers up and tuck them securely around you keeping your breath slow and steady hear your heartbeat let its rhythm calm you now take inventory of your muscles and let each one relax your legs your abdomen your shoulders and your neck close your eyes and release your tension take a slow breath in and out and again in and out 
as you breathe in say in your spirit my refuge and my fortress and as you breathe out say my God in whom I trust do that again several more times as you relax and believe that God is who he says he is as you continue to relax hear Moses's words for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways know that you can rest in perfect peace because God has commanded his angels to watch over you please let me pray for you Holy Father thank you for peaceful sleep which I claim for your beloved child in the name of Jesus help them to let go of all their worries and fears their concerns and distractions anything that would keep them from experiencing your peace tonight I thank you for your protection in the spiritual realm thank you that nothing can harm us or snatch us out of your hand we are grateful for your love and your mercy we are thankful for the poetry shared with us through the Psalms as you delivered peace to your servants of old deliver peace to your loved one today as this child of yours sleeps tonight I thank you for your protection over them and all who dwell in their home may they feel your presence and sense your love for them it's in the name of Jesus I pray amen I want you to imagine Moses just finishing the work of building the tabernacle in the desert how glorious he found his God how clearly he had felt God's presence and protection they had not perished in their wandering they had not been overcome by their enemies they had been led by the pillar of fire by night and the pillar of cloud by day they had been kept by God and Moses rejoiced he knew where his help had come from it had come from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth I am going to read the entire psalm for you tonight and I pray that you will find it in the precious promises God gives he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty I will say to the Lord my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence he will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and buckler you will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the destruction that wastes at noonday a thousand may fall at your side ten thousand at your right hand but it will not come near you you will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked because you have made the Lord your dwelling place the Most High who is my refuge no evil shall be allowed to befall you no plague come near your tent 
for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways on their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone you will tread on the lion and the adder the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot and then hear the Lord's answer in Moses's next words because he holds fast to me in love I will deliver him I will protect him because he knows my name when he calls to me I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will rescue him and honor him with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation abiding with God sheltering in his presence imagine being in a castle tall and strong built on a hill no enemy can reach you no harm can come to you arrows fly toward you but the ramparts deflect them he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty I will say to the Lord my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust dear one he is our strong fortress we abide in him we take up our shield of faith in our God whom we trust no fiery arrows will find us we are safe we are in his strong arms rest in that truth tonight as you walk along the path of life sometimes the way is dark hunters seek you traps surround you but God has promised that you will not be captured nothing can snatch you out of his hands for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence though evil surrounds you you will not fall prey to it God is your deliverer snuggle into God's presence like a baby bird protected by the wings of its mother soft down encases you no predator can touch you God's strong arms enfold you feel the softness of his loving care he will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and buckler night and day you abide in the presence of God he provides he protects you can be at perfect peace because these are God's promises to you the terror of the night is not to be feared the arrows of the day cannot touch you all the evil that seeks to devour you will be turned away you will not be destroyed God is always by your side you will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the destruction that wastes at noonday when you see the wicked falling by your side you don't have to fear 
when you feel overwhelmed by your enemies God has not left you let him fight your battle you live in his perfect peace a thousand may fall at your side ten thousand at your right hand but it will not come near you you will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked you belong to the Lord Jesus you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit of God you abide in the vine and all that you do is appointed by him and protected by him you have made the choice to live in his presence to dwell not just with him but in him because you have made the Lord your dwelling place the Most High who is my refuge no evil shall be allowed to befall you no plague come near your tent imagine angels not with harps and wings but with the glory of the Lord shining on them they have been given the job of protecting you of being by your side of keeping you from harm because you are a precious child of God the evil one knows this he used these words to try to tempt Jesus in the desert for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways on their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone you have the authority in Jesus's name to fight every attack of the enemy take every thought captive let the peace of Christ fill you as you rest in the assurance that you will spend eternity with God no matter what the Spirit guarantees it you are his you will tread on the lion and the adder the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot let these closing words of the Lord cover you like a warm blanket as you fall deeply asleep tonight because he holds fast to me in love I will deliver him I will protect him because he knows my name when he calls to me I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will rescue him and honor him with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation sleep in peace beloved of God he is with you he is protecting you he loves you so very very much for I am convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons neither the present nor the future nor any powers neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you trust in the Lord forever for the Lord God is an everlasting rock 
father God as you have promised to do watch over your beloved child as they sleep tonight wash away all their fear in the fountain of your peace let the song you are singing over them keep them in peaceful sleep all night long remember your promises to them O Lord that you would bless them and keep them that you would make your face to shine upon them and be gracious to them that you would lift up your countenance upon them and give them peace we love you Lord we abide in your shadow we will find rest beneath your wings we glory in your presence amen rest peacefully now beloved and may you wake refreshed and restored in the morning King David once said truly my soul silently waits for God tonight wait silently for the Lord's presence to fill the room breathe in and out and receive this calm quiet moment of peace wait for God's presence to fill your heart mind and soul he covers you with his love he guards you with his protection he guides your soul into peaceful rest and assurance breathe deeply in and out close your eyes and rest he's with you he loves you in him your soul finds rest whatever emotions you're feeling at the present exhale them and release them to the Lord breathe in and out deeply peacefully settling your thoughts on the protective arms of the Savior he's with you tonight your soul will find rest as you wait on God and feel his presence in the room be at peace and relax sink deeper into the pillow and let all thoughts fade away as you prepare to hear the beautiful truths of the scriptures the words of David as he pours his heart out to God tonight I invite you to pour out your own concerns to God release them let go of them let your soul find perfect rest in his presence release all of your strivings and pursuits of earthly gain to him he alone is your rock your salvation your everything now listen to these comforting words from Psalm 62 verses 5 and 6 for God alone O my soul wait in silence for my hope is from him he only is my rock my salvation my fortress I shall not be shaken 
in God alone, you will find rest. Wait. Relax. Be at peace. And know He alone is your rock. He alone is your salvation. He alone is your fortress. You're safe with Him. You are sheltered in His presence. In the midst of every trouble, He's with you. You're secure in His salvation. He's built a wall of peace around you to protect and guard you. Oh Lord, I pray for the listener of this bedtime story that in you alone they will find hope, rest, and peace. Help them, Lord, to wait for you in silence, in peaceful expectation. Help them to release every concern to you and find perfect rest tonight. Help them trust in your guidance, in your holiness, and in your sovereignty. I ask for their safety tonight as they breathe deeply of your presence and your protection over them. Thank you, Lord, for securing them in your salvation and for building a fortress of love around them, surrounding them with your peace. In Jesus' holy name, I pray. Continue to breathe deeply, in and out, in and out, sinking deeper into the pillow and allowing yourself to drift into a perfect state of rest. Let God's peace wash over you from head to toe, letting go of all worry. Feel the shelter of God's presence surround you like a tall fortress that cannot be broken. Know that He's guarding you tonight as you sleep deeply without a single care or concern. He's with you. He's comforting you. He's watching over you as you sleep in peace. In Him, your soul finds rest. Now listen to the scriptures again from Psalm 62, verses 1 and 2. Truly, my soul silently waits for God. From Him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. God is your defense. You can release everything to Him. He's got your life in His hands. He is with you. You shall not be moved as you rest securely in Him. Rest deeply in His provision. Rest completely in His salvation. Gracious God, I pray for deep rest and peace over your beloved tonight. Lord, place your hand over them as they sleep. Help them to know you are near. Father, assure them that you alone are their rock and their salvation. 
comfort them with your love and secure them in your presence help them to feel completely safe in your arms unmoved resting deeply in Jesus name feel the calm presence of the Holy Spirit in the room as you breathe deeply as you allow him to cover you with his love God is with you he is your rock you will not be moved feel his presence now be reminded of his gentleness his compassion his grace he's sheltering you with a fortress of safety and protection you can fully depend on him you don't need to trust in riches God is your treasure he is your confidence and he will not disappoint breathe in and out in and out rest sleep be at peace God is with you he is your rock your salvation in him your soul finds rest now hear the words of David from Psalm 62 verse 5 from the New Living translation let all that I am wait quietly before God for my hope is in him tonight let all that you are wait quietly right here in this room rest listen for his still small voice and put your hope in him you can trust him he loves you he is with you in the silence in the waiting God is with you do not fear do not worry you are safe in his loving arms with all that you are wait quietly before God Holy God thank you for this precious person resting in your presence tonight I ask that you breathe your life and hope into their soul I pray that you cover them with your mercy and grace guide them into a deep and wonderful sleep thank you for your presence your peace your holiness in Jesus name continue to breathe in and out softly deeply resting fully in God's grace let everything fade away let your thoughts drift into silence waiting resting as you breathe deeply in and out you hear only the quiet voice of his love 
as he surrounds you with his presence you wait silently before God and put your hope in him your very life is in his hands his word rests deep in your mind your soul finds rest your soul finds rest in him your soul finds rest he's with you he loves you he is your rock your salvation your fortress you will not be moved you are secure in him in God your soul finds rest Lord put your hand on this beloved person tonight let them sense your presence here assure them of your protection of your constant help in their life give them peace and rest and sleep perfect peace perfect rest wonderful sleep remind them of who you are their rock their salvation their fortress just as King David set his heart on you help your child focus on your presence tonight lead them into deep sleep and help them know you are here in the silence you are rest for their soul you are rest for their soul in Jesus holy name Amen